कम्स टू टू थर्टी फोर सिक्सटी टोटल ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स नाइन्टी फाइनल टोटल टैक्स लाइबिलिटी ऑफ द एस एस सी सो वट वी हैव लर्न टूडे इज वट इज डायरेक्ट टैक्स वॉट इज इन डायरेक्ट टैक्स हु इज एन एस एस सी एस एस सी इज अ पर्सन हु इज लाइबल टू पे टैक्स फॉर द प्रीवियस ईयर फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड वी हैव डिस्कस द पेपर एटेन विद द मार्क्स ऑल्सो लेट मी अगेन डिस्कस एट विट ऑल द टोटल इनकम कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ द टोटल इनकम कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ टोटल इनकम मीन्स सी यू एंड मी आर पर्सन द पर्सन मेक्स एन इनकम इनकम मीन्स लाइक फ्रॉम द रेसिडेंस from the capital gain he sold some property and he got a capital gain business profession he earn profit he earn income or the total of this the total of salary if, if even if a per, salaried person can run a profession and he may also make a capital gain he may also earn a house property income that is from the rents so totaling all the income and finding out the total tax liability that a ssc has to pay is this question 10 marks it is not a big deal it is a simple chapter residential status it is a simple thing many of you all have heard nri and you have asked your parents what is nri refers to nri refers to non resident indian in this we have to decide all this only if whether the person is a resident or non resident that's it i'll for the elaborate in our next lecture residential status our next lecture will be on residential status capital gain capital gain means i just now told if you have a property you have taken it long back and you are selling it long back as in like 5 years before and you are selling it in 2016 so the capital income that means 5 lakh before the rate of the property was assuming rupees 1 lakh and now you are selling in 2016 it come around to 3 lakh that means the difference between the take the acquisition period and the selling period is 2 lakhs so the tax rate on that 2 lakhs will be calculated in that will learn in this capital gain chapter that also will be thought by me skipping this two chapters right now i'll tell you at the last how we have to do do with this chapters house property house property is also a simple thing in this we have no have, you may be knowing the renting system we rent a house to a tenant and the tenant pays us the tax this, this chapter is seriously based on that we have to collect the rent and after collecting the rent we have to pay tax on that to the government that's it the chapter deals with that business profession in this there are many section to be learned this is professional gains and business profits in this we have to learn many sections and that are also not so tough i'll make it easy for you i'll give you a set of acronyms from that you'll remember the chapter and the section you will remember the chapter literally the chapter and single section each single section also salary salary also has more sections but it is also easy thing to handle your 50 marks are with you all but telling frankly this ici paper does the paper corrector checks the paper very badly but in direct tax he is qu quite lenient if you have the 50 marks in hold in your hand then you are crossing 60 above in this taxation paper paper 4 trust me if you continue listening my lecture i'll definitely make you all cross 60 you'll get an exemption at least in taxation i thought you about previous year i want you all to take a screenshot of this at least this this and ssc and after taking screenshot take the screenshot of the marks pattern because after taking the screenshot you please make a note in your new book take a new book write taxation direct tax theory start with this first second write previous year in that previous year previous year is the year in which the ssc earn the income previous year means the year that is from 14 2015 to 313 2016 that is the previous year that that have passed in that we have earned the income and now we'll pay the tax in 2016 and 17 assessment year assessment year is the year immediately next to the previous year that is 16 17 that that is what i am telling you in the assessment year the ssc is liable to pay the tax and here comes the tax rate the slab rate for the normal person please take a screenshot of this also and write it in your book 
after that you also take a screenshot of this right surcharge if the sac's income exceeds rupees 1 crore then he is liable to pay surcharge at the rate of 10% of tax that i'll make you all understand in the practical sums education says and secondary higher education says i don't think it will cater you any more because i have given you a ample of example and solved a sum for you also you don't need to write this because two education says and secondary higher education says will come every now and then so don't worry section 87a 